Hello YouTube, this is Farmer Son Prepping here. Well, as you can see, feeling better. My back's not quite as bad today. I actually felt good enough to uh, want to get out here and do something today. What I'm going to talk about today, y'all, is getting your tarps prepared. I recently purchased a uh, an AquaQuest tarp. Uh, it's a 10 by 10 and uh, that's just one end of it y'all like 10 feet by 10 feet so uh, talking to you today about getting your tarps prepared beforehand uh, I like to go ahead before I ever even go out to the woods I like to go ahead and put loops on these tarps these already have loops on them so I don't really have to do that so that's a good thing these all already have loops normally like if it's on a regular tarp with metal grommets I'll take a little piece of uh, cordage and I'll do what they call the, uh, the old fisherman's knot or some of them call it the double fisherman's knot depending on how you tie it uh, you put this through the grommet and make you put you basically put you a little loop on it. This tarp already has all that stuff, but I do want to get some uh, some tie lines put on. Uh, typically, uh, you'll need some pieces of cordage. As you see right here, I've got some bank line. This is seven feet long. It's it's a good idea to. Uh, have you a couple of pieces of tie line or something like in, if you case it, you need to run something up into a tree uh, or something like that. So it's good to have this stuff already prepared, ready to go. Um, so yeah, uh, just wanted to talk to you about that today. Um, so when you get your tarps, get them out. And uh, just kind of just get them prepared. If they don't have these loops like the AquaQuest does, if they have the regular metal grommets or whatever, uh, see if I can show you all this. I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. You run this through the toggle, uh, through your uh, your grommet of your tarp, of course. So your tarp would be inside here, and then you basically. come around here basically you're just going to tie a pretzel knot on each side or with using each side this piece here is kind of small I may not be able to get it done here let me see yeah I might can I might can work that out it's a small piece of cordage I should have got a longer piece all right now as you can see we got one pretzel knot on one side we're going to take this other side right here and you go around and make another pretzel knot on the other side around the cordage let me see if I can't get that done for y'all this is too pay this is too short of a piece of cordage here that one looks a little longer Hang on, I'll just cut us a big one. A lot of people uh, don't like using orange cordage. I like using orange cordage. Uh, if you ever trip over uh, your guy lines and fall down like a oak tree, and you've got a you know a saw or a, a hatchet on your side, <laughs> it's not very comfortable. Uh, I'm blind anyway, so I like to use, for tie lines, I like to use orange. That way I can see it. I don't walk into it or trip over it. So, I brought out the old uh, Cold Steel Recon 1 today. Hadn't used it in a while. She was feeling a little neglected, so I brought her out here today and see it. She could use a little sharpening as well. Of course, maybe if the wind ain't blowing, 
we can get this right here done real quick just kind of get your ends burn up a little bit so they won't fray that's good enough so yeah uh, weather today is pretty nice Supposed to get up to uh, 89, maybe 90 today. We had a huge storms last night. Uh, I had, they blew stuff all over the yard. I had to go pick it up this morning. Uh, so, all right, let's try this uh, loop again here. Yeah, that's still fine. Basically, you just cross it over like that. You're gonna just tie a pretzel knot with one end. That is still hot. Then you're gonna take your the other side over here, this side, and tie a pretzel knot on this side, or what's called an overhand knot. Then you just take and you pull these two knots together, butt them up on the end. Let me get that where y'all can see it. Pull those two knots together like that. And that makes a good secure loop. You can use these for prussic loops as well on your uh, rapid deployment ridge line. Uh, so I've just got my new tarp out today. I want to attach some. Uh, we want to attach some lines to some of these, probably three of these, because, you know, so you try to think about it, a lot of these are going to be on the ground, so I may, uh, I may just put ties on one side and just leave the loops like they are on the other side. But uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you all about today, is get your tarps out and uh, make sure you get them ready. A lot of times it's a good idea, too, on, on your regular tarps with the metal grommets, Get you some Gorilla Tape and run you some Gorilla Tape over that metal grommet. Cut you an X through the grommet right there. Or the grommet, whatever it's called. And uh, so you want to run like this is the... I don't know, I don't really have a good way of showing you here. Basically, this little square right here is the grommet. You want to run your tape over on both sides. And then just put a little X in there with your pocket knife. And you can run your, that'll strengthen your tarp. So, get your tarps ready. Uh, get them ready beforehand. It's something that, uh, this one I haven't done yet because I haven't been feeling so good. But uh, it's a good idea to be ready on all this stuff before. It'll make, when you go out to the woods to camp for, uh, for an evening or for a, a weekend of camping fun or whatever, SHTF, whatever may come, it's going to make setting up your shelters a lot quicker. Uh, and so every little bit helps on that. Having, being able to set up a quick shelter is uh, number one in my book. So that's what this video is about today. God bless you all. I apologize. I haven't been making much content. We will try to get back in the swing of things on that. Uh, God bless you all with my prayers. The farmer's son prepping. Get out there and work on your tarps, y'all. Make sure you got them ready to go.